Marge, they're shooting down the Chinese spy balloon. Oh, wow. It's 2023 Homer. <laughs> brand 2023 new Homer. Brand new debut Griffin, character. That's out. No, That's we got to save Griffin, that right? one for next year, yeah. I think. I think we got to, or maybe like 2025, we can do 2023 well, I was, Homer. Marge. <laughs> Phone, phone, it has to be X minus two years. Phone, wallet, keys, mask. This is quickly becoming the new norm. <laughs> Mud, first we had COVID, now we have murder hornets. Christ, dude, what if murder hornets came back? Bro, if I worked at like uh, any, I guess any sort of online publication, because nobody really cares what they write about anymore. That's why you see like Forbes writing about Ninja. Mm-hmm. Um, but not money related. It'll be like his new hair. Forbes is like WordPress. You yeah. can basically just send them a document and they'll put yeah. it up. Yeah, that's we we should well one we should write about 2020, 2020 homework. I think it's funny, but also if you want to make like we a should quick, do fake Simpsons reviews of Simpsons episodes that didn't come out that we just come up with. <laughs> this goes for anybody listening to. If you want to make a quick side hustle, take a publication like Forbes or just take all of them and and write your own twenty twenty three article about murder hornets and how they're back. No one's gonna look. No one's gonna verify. You could probably mm-hmm. copy word for word from like six years ago. They love publishing that. You put into they love into about freaking hornets. Chat GPT. You get a good ass article. Well, that's scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have random, oh, yeah, AI, you have random all great. lowercase article uh, sentences. It's so funny no, how bad some it is. got in trouble for using Chat GPT with Mrs. Krabappel. <laughs> I was joking about um, how shitty it would be to be a teacher now and just be grading all these fucking AI papers this year. I just said it jokingly, and somebody in our chat who's a teacher is like, "Bro, it's like three a week. Not even kidding. It's fucking horrible." <laughs> Yeah, they. I've it's talked. It's really to some not people. that hard to write an essay in like undergrad. Like maybe if you're like a philosophy major or something. But in that case, if it's one where it's like writing essays is basically the main thing you do, why would you even do that and cheat? Like, what's the po- just major in something else? Yeah, you have to do so much study, and that like you have to know it. Like you, that's all you have to do. It's if you're that, that big that of a dumbass, where you're like, oh my god, the AI is doing college for me. I guarantee you're not actually gonna read what it's writing for. You're just like submitted. Which is yeah. funny because like half <laughs> oh, the time, absolutely. if you give it like a prompt, especially college level, it will repeat itself in 17 different ways before it gets to a new point. It's like <laughs> mm-hmm. keeps rewording its own sentence. It's like, all right. When I was in college, I had like two page essays. That's all it yeah. was. Yeah. Because I was a STEM major. If you're an English major, you're going to, they're going to expect like maybe a 12 page paper or something, but like, no. Like, and they're going to read it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're reading it to like confirm that it satisfies all the requirements. I never had problems with papers. I shit those out. No, they're fine. But like if you're you get STEM, the most you have to do is two pages. And it's annoying. That's what I have to do now. And it's like occasionally yeah. I have to write a paper and it's like, man, why am I writing a fucking paper? I don't care. Yeah. But you sit down, it takes you like two hours. You put on some music. Not a big deal. No. In grade 10, we had like a, a health class and our assignment was we had to like group up and then like do research online to a health question that we had and like my health que- my question was is it dangerous to have sex in a hot tub and so i was like googling all this shit to find like sources about like pressure and then bacteria in the water and stuff i think it was like a love line question that i'd heard before that i thought was funny but and then we had to like go do a presentation and this kid in my class dead ass went up there and his his research project was is fish healthy for you and he didn't even like write it. He just copy and paste it off of like a fucking website. And then, <laughs> like, at the end, he was like reading his paper and was like, and for more information, check out our other article at. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, man. This is from longjohnsilvers.com. Is fish, this is my research paper. Is fish good? <laughs> That's, that shit's so awesome. I remember, like, I was the computer kid back in the day. So, like, when. When I was like 14 in like 2008, I guess, that was when everyone discovered Wikipedia. Like mm-hmm. the first year that people were like, wait a minute, you can just type it in and then it's on Wikipedia and you can copy and paste it. But I was the only person who knew that the links would still be blue. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> the teachers would know why the links are blue. Classic. Mm-hmm. Oh that when God. I was in sixth grade, there was a girl that got moved down from seventh to sixth grade to be in our class. And we would, if you did something bad, you got a demerit and you had to go home and get it signed. And she came back the next day with it signed by mom. <laughs> oh, fuck yes. That's so <laughs> classic. Just like, oh, man. And like, you can't, you can't make fun of her because she like, she was pretty not great, but it was, it's still such a funny story. I have a similar about. one. Just writing mom. <laughs> I was like an actually clever kid, but then not, because I never got in trouble. So when I did, I was like, duh, here's a really good lie. 
And mm-hmm. mine was, I had, I had my mom sign a slip that was like, my, I remember what exactly happened. My best friend, Michael Terry, Michael T, got, was in a fight with Michael C and Michael D. Michael H and Michael T <laughs> were best friends. Michael C and Michael D were not. We hate each other. Anyway, I fucking, I beat the other Michael's ass and saved Michael T. He was this little bowl hair cut, fat kid, little dumbass. Like, he didn't do anything. He had, like, two short arms. And uh, I saved him. But, of course, the fucking aides just see me whooping their ass. I'm only, I'm eight years old. Mm. So I get a fucking, like, write-up, and I have to have my mom sign it. And the next morning, like, right when I'm leaving, I remember I have to have her sign it, or else I, like, get sent home or whatever. And I'm like, mm. oh, yeah, mom, I forgot. I just have this, like, project where, like, they just need to see what your name looks like. You just write it right here, and it was rolled up like a cigarette. Mm. <laughs> mom just, like, rolled her eyes. She's like, sure. <laughs> She's like, mom. She's like, yeah. I knew exactly what the fuck is going on. Uh, I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you put effort into the lie. Yeah. I was like, yeah, uh, that was smart as fuck. I had this college health class that uh, me and my buddy, like, scheduled together, like, our first year, we were all both just, like, general business degrees, like, didn't even know what we were doing. And we just skipped it all the time just to get high and go to my house and play uh, Borderlands split screen on on my projection screen in my basement. Well, now that is your business. Yeah, Yeah. right? I know, right? Now, Now who's laughing? But anyway, so we had to do, like, I don't know, we had to, I forget what kind of presentation it was, but me and my buddy... We're, we had decided to do a, a presentation on the, the myths of marijuana use. And we called it, it was a game show, we called it Hemperdy. <laughs> like <a> Jeopardy? Hemperdy! <laughs> oh, that sucks. I, I know, it's so <laughs> gotta be something better it's than so that. Bad. I'm trying to think of it. But. No, I mean, we just, I mean, like, we put such little, because we were getting stoned the whole time. I remember just meeting him. How like, about Daily Doobie? We literally drove, we had to, because my one dude was out of shit, so we had to drive like an hour and a half to find weed. And so we were just like, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go get the weed. And then we're going to drive back, we're going to drive, and we're going to talk about what we're going to do. Dispel we're going to get, get really high, and we're going to just dispel some myths. And then, like, <laughs> I don't remember what the, like, one of the questions was something was like, weed is true or false? Weed is a gateway d- f- drug. And we showed up to class, like, violently high. Like, just clearly, as clear as day, just probably, I think we smoked in this car in the parking lot before we even went in. And we're just both sitting up there, and we're like, all right, we flipped up the little index car we tape. Weed is a gateway drug, true or false? And we just, people would be like, true. And we'd be like, no. If you see here, then we just have like a, a study from like, yeah, just something weak, like shitty link. We'd be like, Quora. Nine, 95% <laughs> of marijuana users report that they only use marijuana. Forever. The other 5% like forgot. Yeah. No! <laughs> Did you show up to the next class on cocaine or heroin? No. I don't think we so showed up. So that proves up. that it's not a great a gateway drug. I don't think we drug. showed up. <laughs> well, were you on cocaine or heroin at home? <laughs> oh, never. No. It's pretty as good. long as you didn't do it in general. Mm. So that proves mm. it's not a gateway drug. Mm. Alex's nope. story before well, about... it's not out of the question. You can still do it. <laughs> I've tried cocaine one time, and that was two years ago. Am I allowed to say that? This is a Patreon. So... I hope no one finds out that you're trying coke for the first time I mean, in your 30s, Chet. No, they might, well, come, uh, they might get yeah. grounded or kicked out of school. There was very little cocaine in whatever that was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do really, I didn't really, I was, I mean, I, I'm prescribed out or also. That's it, true, you slept pretty it, good. It, it didn't do really do anything. All that shit did was make you forget where your keys were, which were in your car. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, classic, classic. <laughs> That was a fun I, day. I was thinking about that. My car was unlocked the whole time. Uh, do we, yeah. I don't know if he told the story or not. But That's how I, I know think, that uh, it's been t- theft is actually down in big cities. It, it's yeah, been yeah. told, but not on the pod, I think. Down- it was in that lot in that hotel, right? No, it was like downtown. Yeah, it was kinda. on the street in Buffalo. Yeah, it was, it, yeah, yeah. The same. What, no, what was, was the hotel lot, called again? It was in like a public, a public parking lot, yeah. It was like two or three blocks from the hotel, I think. Yeah, I think it was I pretty oh, okay. Yeah. Because I also have, uh, I just remembered when I was uh, in that hotel in like the parking garage going out. Uh, I accidentally clipped part of like the the thing where you uh, put in your card. <laughs> it, like there's like a plastic thing on it that I just like clipped with my mirror, and I was like, "Oh, uh, okay. Hopefully there isn't a camera yeah. right there. I'm just gonna keep going." Yeah, yeah, it's, it's let's uh, let's give context to what the hell Chet's talking about in case they haven't no. heard the story before. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't there, fuck yeah, you. you know, yeah, stop listening there. in on our conversation, you fuckers. Yeah, so basically, was it was it the first? This is first or second? Yeah, the first the, one. I, was it? No, I was, it was the second Alex one. It was the second. It was the second one because it was right before I moved to Denver because I got fired like from that liquor store job I had that I. The second one was up. the one where you bought the paper towel. Was it the same one where you bought the paper yes. towel? That I think this it happened? was. Yes. I think okay, so. so that was the I second. Think one. So yeah, so um, 
I dri- I lived three and a half hours away in the Youngstown, so I drove up there. And for some reason, I, I forget it, why, I parked in this a... This is to Buffalo for Tid the Season. So yeah, Buffalo, Tid the Season, visit our friend Keith, see some music, hang out. It was really we good. We saw really Wu-Tang. Mm-hmm. Wu-Tang, that was great. That was or so one much of fun. them, at least. I, I raced Tony uh, normal now on the ho- hotel. He's a fast guy, by the way, on foot. But that's another story. Anyways, uh... Did you yeah. chase him? No, we just we, we were drunk when we got back to the hotel, and I was just like, "You want to race?" Look at Chase. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, Chase. Ch- Ch- we're supposed to loom them. Don't tell them the story. Oh yeah, Tony right. Homo. He was he was such a chill guy. I chased him for like three miles, trying to take his wallet and shit. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he was he was totally cool about it after. They're like who? You know, Beavis Simpson. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> but anyways, uh, so I left I left my I parked my car in this parking lot that was a few blocks away from the hotel that I was staying at for some reason. I think it was just <clears throat> to be closer to the venue, but uh, long story short, we go to the show. I forget what night of the... Oh, it was the Saturday night, because I had to go to work on Sunday. I worked on Sunday to like, 11, and my plan was, oh, all right, I'll just get up at, like, 8. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, like, 7 o'clock and drive mm-hmm. home, back home to Ohio and go directly to work. So Chet was only planning on going on one night originally, I believe, and then yes. had so much fun the first night, because you were staying in my hotel, which is where the car was parked. And you're like, okay, well, I'll stay the other night and drive there first thing in the morning, but you got... A second hotel room, which was in Mike's hotel, which was like closer to oh, the yeah. airport right. because it was cheaper because it wasn't downtown. Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay, well, I'll just come back here tonight. And that's what. It and was. I remember you, you only used the room to uh, take a shit before going back to the to show. Say, I, so I got my money out of, worth out of it. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> it's like after the show, and we're like in a bar, and Chet's freaking out like because he can't find his keys. I'm wasted too. wasted so you, it's a good thing you didn't find them and yeah. he thought he probably left them in no, that it, new it, hotel it, room it was, when i wasn't trying to drive it was just that i just didn't, didn't have, have my keys yeah, yeah i was i wasn't gonna drive it's a, it's a stressful Sorry, thing continue. anyways yes yeah. um you thought you probably left them locked in the hotel room uh when mm-hmm. you like went in to take a shit and uh dink magic uh mike c i remember he came up to me in the bar and was like chet's really drunk can you like take care of him tonight because i i can take care of him but i don't want to so i just want to make sure that you can (laughs) i was like yeah man i got it and chet you just couldn't find your fucking keys and so i said okay well like i have a room to myself like there's only one bed but i'll give you some blankets and stuff to sleep on the floor and so that's what happened and then i guess chet you can take over from here the next morning yeah, so obviously I woke up at like 11.30 when I was supposed to be at work at like 11.30, three and a half hours away. So I called in. I was like, yeah, uh, I lost my keys last night and I'm just kind of stuck in Buffalo. So I think we did we not Uber back to the hotel that I had? No, you called I, them I got, and asked if you could look in the room being like, hey, I didn't sleep there last night. Uh, I can't really check uh, out. Can you look in the room to see if my keys are there? Yeah, <laughs> and then you're like, I, I'm gonna go out for a smoke, and so you like walked out to where your car was, and then saw the keys were in the ignition of the car. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and I, I left the car unlocked too, because when I when I parked, I fucking hotboxed my car. That's why and I got super fucking stoned, and I yeah, so I just right. left it the keys in the ignition. It doesn't buzz or something. And then and then Michael came and gave no. me a jump. And Michael came it was and gave a me very a jump. old Yo. car. Oh, okay. I uh, I rode in that car. And I, I feel like my car would yeah. make so many noises at me. Why well, I, I don't even have a key to put in. 2003 Pontiac vibe. I rode yeah. that car too in uh, Detroit. Yeah, and uh, you drove me from Detroit to Akron. And knowing that car, I was like, it's not a surprise. No one really wanted to steal it. <laughs> what are you talking? That's a great car. It, got me from, it gets you from A to B. That's all that the car needs. That's all you yeah, need. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone was looking like, all right, I just way more hassle. The guy yeah, jumped in there to steal it. And mount of trash in my foot. It got me from yeah, point A to point B, but not the way back because I lost my keys. The guy jumped in there to steal it, and it's like putting his foot down in a puddle. <laughs> 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 completely splooshed, like submerged his foot. He's like, oh, shit. There's fucking fluid in here. Awesome. Yeah. But then I got fired from that job. Not because of that, but that was a that was a demerit. Like a, oh, hey, com- about coming back to that word, the whole time, uh, for a good part of this time anyway, this podcast, I've been thinking about how that'd be the perfect name for a really white trash kid in a show. Demerit. 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 Get your ass over here. Demerit Gentry. <laughs> Speaking uh, of... Um, kids, it says he's, he's not actually a redhead, even though he is. He's like, I'm strawberry blonde. He's a prick. Speaking of uh, people getting fired... Uh, you shouldn't feel too bad because a lot of people have been getting fired lately. 
Like a uh, certain mm. someone who had a tab open on the Washington State Unemployment oh, uh, website on his stream the other day. Not going to say who that was, but um, and then also our friend Mikey Miles, uh, some mm. tryhard, <laughs> got him fired from Outback Steakhouse as the food runner by leaving a. Mm. Let's see, do I have it somewhere? It's probably on like the subreddit. Uh, they left a comment. Or they left a review on Outback Steakhouse on Google saying that my server, Michael, he's tried to fuck my kid and he's, he has his Instagram, Mikey Miles, go check him out. And then he got fired and he make, made a video about it. And it's just like, obviously for the record, you shouldn't do that. It's stupid. And it would have happened yeah, two weeks really from now. Cringe. That's such some 4chan shit. Yeah, like yeah. it, it would have yeah. ha happened. But on the other hand, the person who did that is probably like five IQ points more functioning than Mikey. But I yeah. was just thinking about how funny it is that every time he's gotten fired so far, he calls up his brother and his dad and says, there were some false allegations made about me that I was being sexually <laughs> weird at my job, and they fired me for no reason because of lies. And now he's going to say that for the eighth time, and it's going to be true. They actually did make up the allegations this time, but they're going to say, fuck you. Yeah, like, yeah, but like, I was, like, he, I, I think it's, it's bad when someone, like, makes up a lie to get you fired from your job like that posting those fake reviews and shit it's fucked up but they immediately canned his ass because it's not worth it and more than likely he was also being really weird to whatever girls yeah, work there. not showing up so, asking for a ton of time off all that kind of shit that yeah, he does every time absolutely Just probably following a woman outside of the restaurant calling like, in he does that shit all the to time. a park and read a book <laughs> so like there was probably cause and then they read that and were like oh let's just fucking use this we need yeah to get like i was thinking videos. about it how like this kind of stuff must happen to people a lot because so many people have enemies that know where they work and i guess if like this would happen constantly if you could just do this without anything else happening just say this guy uh who works at this place uh he was he's a pedophile and then they immediately yeah. like that would just happen every day like anytime someone any Karen, they would just make a complaint and get fired. But you have to be on thin ice to begin with and also be really bad yeah. at explaining yourself. Because what he's mm -hmm. going to say is like, oh, yeah, I do this, uh, this, this sexy OnlyFans dancing. And uh, they, that's where I have all these people online and they're fucking with me. And uh, he's just going to he's going <sighs> to say something like that. And they're going to say, like, well, what you're posting like a nude stuff online or uh, excuse me? Or like they can they can call saying that your employee uh, was making fun of you eating a pound and a half of ham, and the person not answering the phone will be like, "Okay, man, cool. I'll, uh, I'll look into it. Yeah. Bye." Yeah, yeah and that's then happened. Not to even us. bring it up yeah. until like I asked about it. Because if yeah, yeah, if you're a normal employee and it's clearly like some like some four chan kid is like, uh, 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 uh is that guy there? Uh, did do, do, do you have battle toads? He's gay. And then you hang up like that's <laughs> not going to get a normal person fired. But if they're, no, exactly. if they're that's desperate why, for an excuse to get you out of there. True. Like, that's why you can't feel bad. Too, you can't you don't have to feel bad for him at all because he's genuinely an awful person. Like, all you have to do is just look up his arrest record from the last couple of years and see, oh, he was fondling a girl on a train and got beat down because of it. <laughs> oh, OK. Well, maybe he shouldn't be <laughs> allowed to work around anybody. But like, yeah, like that's not going to just. They're not going to just fire you because someone wrote a one star review on Yelp saying, oh, they were like ogling my daughter. Like they wanted to get him. The gone. fact yeah, that they clearly. have to spend five minutes talking to him about it is like that outweighs having him. Yeah, it's, it's not where he's like shit Yelp, like that, right? though. He's probably like, huh, one of my fans. And they're like, oh, OK, you're out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did like in the video how he said, like, if you live around him, he's going to beat your ass. He said, I'm going to beat your ass like a Cherokee drum. <laughs> Which, I've never heard that before. Is that a real saying? Oh, my God. I don't know. Let me check that out. Let's it's, see. A, it's a real New York saying. They only say it in the, the <clears throat> Empire State. Yeah, I guess so. He should say, like, Mohawk or something. Onondaga. Be a New York boy. Oh, I, yeah. I, it is a, uh, it's a line from, uh, what the fuck? Oh, it's just a line from Fast and Furious, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That would make sense. Well, that explains it. Looks like it's something yeah, The Rock says. that explains says. it. Yeah. <laughs> a very dumb guy at his age. It's either something The Rock says to Jason Statham or vice versa. I'm not going to hit unmute. I don't care. Mm -hmm. they, uh, clearly, he watched that 
like earlier that day. Yeah. And that's the only thing you retained from that movie was okay, this is a cool line to say about it. would be so funny if somebody could be watching Fast and Furious McMahon. I wish I had my Miata still. <laughs> he's, he's got that little toy one. <laughs> <laughs> and like he could have afforded it like a new That's car actually by the now. Same he one he had, it doesn't run. Same size. If he didn't spend like five grand on hookers in the last year. Mikey crawling I mean, into a hot wheel and sitting in it. He could he had one. He could have just not flown to LA and yeah, not he just didn't make the payments because he was spending it on like flowers for a woman he was stalking and shit. Bro, he could have well, been married with four kids two. already if he just married someone that was in Middletown, New York and just stayed there with his inheritance. Yeah, yeah. if he just worked for he his moved. brother's construction company. Move to LA to make zero dollars ever, and then also spend a ton of money on a Miata. And get asked rent. not to continue at an acting school. They sent him a letter yeah. saying you're not benefiting from our instruction. We're gonna have to. We don't want your money. Yeah, we we feel like we're scamming you. That's like getting kicked out of Vince's school. Like they're just they want your money, no yeah. matter how bad you are. They're gonna take your money. So if it comes to the point like that was a real be, school, they have like yeah. a little bit of dignity where they don't For want sure. a guy who's just not doing it the work at all there. Yeah, yeah, because they don't. don't they, actually, it's like, disrespectful, but like still, even then, he's probably horrible too. And they're like, "Don't put your, our name on you. Get the fuck out of here." Yeah, that's also very true. They were just like, "Don't say you graduated from yeah. this school." He's weird we listen, to everyone we there. <laughs> like he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't memorize any of his lines. He doesn't show up. He 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 dresses like a wankster. <laughs> he was he dressed even more like a wankster back then. He was like He dresses he used to show up to every single audition like dressed like a greaser, but he had like a giant fucking fitted hat on it. It was too big for his head, like Sim Fuckus. Yeah. He was like the Yankees uh, hat living in Any LA. hat on him is just noggin boss on him. He was the original noggin boss. Oh my god, man. Just a t- way too big of a hat on his like little bird head. He looks crazy. He looks insane, and I love him. He looks like God ran out of clay while he was making, like, the last guy for the day. He was like, whoop. Did you know he has size 7.5 feet? Oh, my God. Which is fucking... Five feet are twice the size of his. It's crazy, because I have size 9 feet. I wear size 9 and a half, depending on the shoe. And I'm in the first percentile for adult male height. (laughs) About as short as you can get without being an actual dwarf. And I have size 9 feet. (laughs) Does Mikey Biles right, only well, wear clogs? You're just telling us you have a big dick now, right? Quit, quit, quit bragging, dude. Because you know what they say about people with big shoes. Yeah, they call Alex Tripod. That's right. They got it's bigger feet. than you would expect it to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Based on the rest of me. It would be the same, uh, I think. Oh, yeah, brother? I, I imagine it to be huge in my mouth. It's, so. it's like the... Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, man. So that was, nice. uh, that was a great week Mikey Miles had. He also had a picture where he was in the courthouse. Wearing his suit and saying, looking like a lawyer today. And someone, I think on the subreddit. <laughs> you wish, but They pulled up the last time he was at the courthouse, and it's the exact same spot on the exact same bench. <laughs> oh my god, He's look, He looks like he needs a yeah, lawyer. Yeah, he, he really does. He's got like a, probably the uh, public defender assigned to him hates him. Because he's so fucking annoying. He's like, hey, I didn't even do it. I don't know what the, what's going on. I don't he know. also didn't. He didn't show up for like the first like few like court dates. On if I was appointed a lawyer and Mikey Miles walked in, I would fucking I'd reach for the like the, the bailiff's gun, shoot myself, <laughs> even if it's like a traffic violation or whatever. Bro, this is my defendant. My my client pleads guilty. <laughs> I need don't life worry in about prison. What he's <laughs> Let's just get Give this trial over prison. with. It's fine. Your Honor, my my client looks guilty. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> You're supposed to be defending him. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's the most impossible. Look at him. He's the I most guilty oath. sounding person of all time. Like you can hear him. Like he doesn't even have to say a word. He's just like <laughs> when he starts talking. It's like okay, yeah, he did it. Yeah, he can't steal a cookie from the cookie jar without giggling about it and getting caught. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> I, didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't steal that. <laughs> but I still imagine Mikey Miles would be like that little assistant guy that tells you how to play Jedi Knight Jedi Academy in the demo. Where no matter how hard you punch him, he just flies across like that. The room and goes. <laughs> <laughs> he never takes any damage. Just an unkillable NPC. Ugh. I just hate. no matter how hard you try, and Lord knows, God has tried to take him, just like Jack, and he's hanging out. Oh yeah, Jack. Uh, Alex. Speaking of uh, of NPCs, I know you had an update on uh, on one of them. Oh yeah, our friend uh, AR fifteen. All those guys are celebrating today the Hogwarts game because all the libs are triggered by the Hogwarts game. Yep. And I'm so mad yep. that these guys are spending $80 that they don't have, which, you know, none of these guys can afford that game because they have like PS3s and they're like, we, we know that they can't afford the Filmora thing. And this is also 80 bucks. <laughs> I just want you to know, isn't the uh, deluxe edition of this game $120? 
Probably. Ooh, if, they are, if they are playing today, that is what they spent because the full game does not come out for three days for everybody else. It's yeah. so expensive. So if they are playing today, it is the collector's edition they're playing and they spent 120 or whatever on it. But it's interesting because in their Discord, they're actually not talking about how triggered everybody is and they're crying about stuff and asking for prayers. So there's a thread in there today <laughs> called Andrew Robb, our friend AR15, with, who had the, uh, the gun. He went to the gun range and missed every single shot on the thing and then bragged about it. It was like the Dumb and Dumber Harry shooting. Yeah, he posts a, a weight loss update every day and he looks exactly the same uh, because he eats three pizzas a day at his job, even though he's supposed to be on a diet. Um, meat lovers, though. Meat lovers pizza. So Spider Dan, on uh, I think a mod on the server says, Andrew Robb says, the past couple of weeks, I've been taking on a lot of enemies. Spider Dan. Spider Dan. <laughs> Most of which Spider are Dan. ones that Get attack <laughs> Melanie. Others yeah. from the anti-gun community. And probably some of Eliza Blue's lackeys as well. Many have been attacking me for my Ooh. weight, and there's a death threat somewhere in the mix. So Eliza Blue is like, <laughs> it's, it's that woman who was uh, like a conservative podcast guest for a while. She pretended to be a sex trafficking survivor. And then, like some other yep. some other right wing guys think she's a fake sex trafficking sex trafficking survivor. Uh, like the Tim Pool is fighting with the quartering about this, and Elon Musk is involved. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, some, it's it's really cool and interesting. I'm really so happy. happy. I've, this is I've never heard anything about any of this. But, uh, I'm so glad. Andrew Robb's reply to that is, "Thanks. I appreciate the prayer request. I usually can handle people when they insult or criticize me, but when they involve Melanie or any of my friends, I'm going to have issues." It is a little depressing when people talk about my weight, but I continue to work out and I know I'm going to be laughing at them within a year and beyond that. With the anti-gun community, I posted a progress photo of my target at the range, which wasn't that good, I'll admit, and a wave and I wave after wave of trolls telling me that I shouldn't be allowed to carry a gun, and I kept my ground saying that I will one day improve with more training. I am not a fan of gun control, so I will always stand firm on gun rights av advocacy. So, like, just... To um, give some context, that was all like pro gun people. Yeah, yeah. bro, he is yeah. literally an NPC just sitting like. Ah, bah, 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 oh, boy. It was like you Dialogue, know, like libertarian man. gun people, left wing gun people, uh, regular gun people, uh, just telling I, I him that this said... is like this would get you laughed at at any range anywhere. This is just insane. This is like, what are you doing yeah. wrong? You're just like, and he's been at the range for like a year. I searched his name and range. And he goes to the gun range all the time. He's been going since like 2020. This is only hobby. I like to imagine him with his hand clutched over the top of it. Like how I imagine him holding a pencil, holding just the barrel of the gun like this, and then pulling the trigger from behind. <laughs> it's, I think it's because he's, when he's aiming, he's just thinking about porno and he can't yeah. aim straight. He keeps squirting into so his shorts while he's trying to fire. <laughs> he's firing from the wrong gun. <laughs> I, I, I also want to draw attention to the fact that you said when they involve Melanie or any of my friends, like, does that imply that Melanie is, is his friend? Oh, does no, he that's his, his number? Does he, it's, does he it's text with her? It's like you're, you're embarrassing him in, in front of his, his girlfriend who's going to fuck him soon. It's the same thing Steven TV does where he wheels his mom into the living room and is like, oh, you got to watch my girlfriend. She's playing this new game and then puts on Melanie <laughs> Mac. Man, that's, that's like I'm watching fucking do. Top Gear, and I'm like, that my sucks. friends Jeremy Clarkson and Richard Hammond. They're so cool. Dude, you gotta disavow your friend Jeremy Clarkson. He said some pretty fucked up stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really upset about my friend Jeremy Clarkson not getting <laughs> renewed at Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Drew posted about it, but she made, like, some annoying Harry Potter post. Of, like, this is my character's name. And then he just kept replying. And he just yeah, and like, the name was like, emoji. I'm a bigot. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I am bigot. And it's like, great. I know. Those people aren't even <laughs> supposed to like Harry Potter. It's like soy cringe shit. The trans community, though, already made all the best like name jokes about that game because they named the trans character like Serona Sir Ryan. Yeah. 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 Sir Ron Please Ron. call me Serona. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and there, like, there's this really funny post by this, this trans post that was like, uh, them coming up with names. One of them was they Themington. That's what <laughs> I that was so funny. That was really funny. <laughs> was um, good. Did you want to talk about the death threat? Oh yeah, Alex? it keeps going here. As for the death threat, I should explain. It's most likely nothing. I mean, anytime someone makes a death threat online, it's usually nothing. Bit in any case, this was from anti-gun crew telling me I shouldn't carry a gun, and I got so into that argument, I wanted one troll to prove that she could shoot better than me. She said for me to come to her place, then I replied, you come to me. And she asked for my- Wait, 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 she wanted to fuck him. Yeah, I think she, I think he was, he turned down an opportunity to get some pussy. <laughs> and she asked for my address, and I told her she can show me at the range, and she replied, okay. 
Now I know I messed up about egging her to come to me. I was not in the right mind, but the range target in the photo I mentioned earlier has the name of the range I got to on it. Plus, I have my city location public on my Twitter profile. But the funny thing is that she only knows the range I go to and nowhere else. If she tries anything there or sends something to send someone to do something there, will the people at the range have my back? And everyone is armed at the range, so it would be wise if someone did something there. So... <laughs> As somebody who's good at GeoGuessr, if I wanted to find uh, a guy like AR-15 just looking at him, I would look for a house that is made out of candy but partially eaten. <laughs> yeah, there should be a breadcrumb trail, a trail of food behind him. Little yeah, pepperonis and shit. Just a big sausage like house. <laughs> yeah, just a big house made so out that's of pepperoni. Like, he looks like he beat Hansel and Gretel so in the woods. So that's not <laughs> him getting a death threat. That's him. Someone replied to him and said, you're really bad at shooting. And then he said, well, if you fucking come to here and, and show me that you're better at shooting than me. And then they said, like, OK, I'll come to the range with you. Yeah, that went well for Boogie. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it seems like he's uh, he, he was threatening this woman. And then uh, and then he like, but woman he's just her. like, what a fucking pussy. Like these guys are they're <laughs> all over Twitter right now being like, oh, the libs are so triggered by this Harry Potter shit. All these cucks, and these trans freaks are all reeing. And then they, and then they <laughs> yeah. log on to Discord and they're like, last week someone said I was chubby and they said my <laughs> daily selfies. I wasn't actually losing weight. Yeah. I just tucked in my shirt and they made fun of the amount of pizza I eat and then Melanie Max saw it too. <laughs> it's like fuck you you're 36 <laughs> hey guys turd fucko here uh you need a couple of hail mary said for me this week because someone said my aim not be true and uh i just believe it is yeah someone well, said I think uh, they need prayers someone said my diet wasn't working which is not true even though i'm gaining weight even though i look insane <laughs> i'm being compared bullied. to how i looked 10 years ago <laughs> someone made fun of me for intermittent fasting between large pizzas yeah. <laughs> that guy i think he just needs to continue doing what he thinks is right without any criticism because that's worked perfectly yeah. well for him so far. That's why he lives with his well, mom. That works, that's all of our guys. Because he has that's such not, good judgment on his own. Fall into place, baby. They, we can't give criticism to anybody because it's mean. It's wrong. And all these guys, they just need a big pat on the back saying, you're doing a good yeah. job. You're, I know you can't hit like the broad side of a barn, but yeah, you should be the one defending schools yeah. from any shooters. I know you're not doing literally oh, no, you're doing anything other than reviewing all that food. You're just, you, you work a job four hours a week and spend all of your money on food at the same job that you go to. Um, all you do is don't stick up in your mom's house. <laughs> don't forget 21 hours a week just looking at porn. I just... Keep doing that. Keep keep doing that for another 30 years. It'll go great. This is an understandable situation. You could be in your 30s and have no power over your life. Barely yes. any of us do. But these guys, the worst for that is for these little fucking cretins to be like, oh, there's a community that will accept me no matter what. Mm -hmm. The gun owners community. Yeah. It's like, well, they also think you're a little R-word as well. <laughs> yeah, they and they <laughs> don't like you. But yeah, sure, man. That's working out good yeah, for you. Yeah, you have to find a community that's like right-wing gun people who are actually like huge pussies and they're afraid of confrontation and if someone comes to the range and they're shooting behind them by accident they're gonna say good job buddy good job you're doing such <laughs> yeah. a good job andrew you're 36 years old you're still learning good job you're three you're 12 years old times three bud <laughs> i do like that he gets out of the house where it seems like steven tv has never left his house once well, his name is, dude, he's like Mike TV's brother from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. His brother got this to go to the true. Chocolate Factory, but Steven is still with Steven, him, his Steven mom. got stuck in the TV. Steven <laughs> TV yeah. has four Steven? moms. They all have cancer. How old and is they Steven sleep TV? in a bed together. 50? <laughs> Steven TV is what, 40, 48 as well? No, he's 36. Uh, oh my God. Oh, I know. Both 36. I know. No I know. fucking How are these guys he's like 30. two Look years older bro. than us? What? A, uh, because and they age so poorly because they have so much hate in their heart. It's so fucked up. Like er, like it's most of the guys that we watch true. are younger than Nate. Yeah, and he's oh, yeah. yeah. he's older shit. And like Koa, it's, it's really I'm fucked. Koa's up. older than most of the guys we watch. Yeah, these guys make me reach for the fucking body lotion and just start moisturizing. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like, oh, <laughs> they, I need my skin to stay a certain way. I, at, least I, for, at least two more years. Damn, I don't want to look like Stephen TV. Like when Stephen, when I found out he was 36, and like I was watching one of his videos, I was like, and I'm 33, and mm -hmm. like look at the difference between us. I it just makes you feel good. Yeah, you're hot. Maybe, right. he has, you're my hot. life is maybe, going great. 
I'm gonna, Maybe I'm he has soul you. link with his mom, Thank like you. a warlock, and he takes a bunch of her damage and aging. <laughs> and it's entirely life. from just meat and shit too, which is so crazy because it like there are people who have like a, a real reason to look like shit when they're that young, like they're yeah. like you know they're 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 smoking and drinking or they're uh, the hard living. Yeah, they're hard. Like, they have obviously like a, shit a real uh, hard manual labor job where they're outside and like the wind yeah. and shit and it fucks up your skin. But he's been he's never had a job. He's just inside. Yeah, there's those. One of the craziest pictures is uh, the like thirty year retired over the road truckers. How it shows half their face, how it's melting. The other half looks like it's like oh, twenty years shit. younger. Yeah, it's fucking crazy because the sun's only hitting mm-hmm. part, half their um, face for thirty years. So a, a couple weeks ago, we we did get into a more serious conversation about like leftist advice for men, mm-hmm. yeah. and like I think this is kind of what they need is like strong leftist role models. And I had a question brought to my attention by a friend of the show, Rylan. And I thought maybe we could like offer our like strong leftist role model like insight <clears throat> into it. Let's hear it. Sure. So it's from Quora, and the question is, how do you have sex with a large butt woman with a small penis? Well, I have an answer and, for you. Yeah, shoot. You know, I try to avoid doggy style because it's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. You move her penis to the side and keep going. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, Alex, that's if our chat's asking, not Quora. Oh, okay. Um, okay. okay. So the, the top answer is from a song called Jerry, and it says, For me, I try to avoid doggy style because it's very difficult to reach with large butt cheeks. It's kind of possible, but it limits the amount of motion you can do without falling out. Well, it's still possible to have sex that way, but f- falling out will ha- often happen. Missionary sex will work best, most likely to get as deep as possible. Hey, check out the second comment, too. <laughs> the, the second the comment says the exact same thing. The fourth. But, but then there's like extra shit at the bottom, so I guess it's like AI or whatever. Yeah, but it's like be careful. Follow unchecked method can uh, affect your pen- penile and make your situation gets worse. For people who want to cure premature ejaculation, check out these secret tips. Oh, In yeah, spite of my forty ads. years of age, <laughs> need to say you never get too old to learn something new. I have never had the opportunity to give my wife orgasms, but after I've gone through that guide, I succeeded in giving her three squirting orgasms in a row. <laughs> Three? Damn, I turned my, I turned my wife into a squirter. <laughs> then she got Dan, hospitalized Dan. for dehydration. This is Dan Quinn, professor of Quora University. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yes. Everybody, everybody that like, I love the people that ask on Quora because it's always like some sixteen-year-old kid genuinely curious about something, and then the replies are just like Stephen Gantz in the army for thirty-nine years. <laughs> well, yep, I know. Well, if you got a small dick, sometimes you just gotta figure out the best position. Yeah, <laughs> dude. The the fucking uh, related um, questions are so good too. Can I ass fuck a hot ass woman? <laughs> Is that a request or like, can you do it that's, hypothetically? That, that's the question. And then the one one replies from Moody Tasha, who's in sales marketing and says, mine's always available with four smiling faces. Oh, um, cool. Damn. She's nasty. Uh, how big hello, of a penis hello. do you need to have sex with a girl with a big butt and actually take her to a wondrous place? <laughs> how can I please a woman with a big ass in bed? Do people go on there thinking it's like Make-A-Wish? Can I meet John Cena? <laughs> hey, it's a question. You can just say no. No. I mean, after that, after those Google search leaks from, remember, the, remember when those came out? It's just like, yeah, okay. The, people really are that insanely stupid. Yeah, the AOL oh, ones. Love. I'm still waiting on Google. We need oh, to that get was that AOL. shit to leak. I'm sorry, yeah, AOL. Yeah, they, they fixed up all those, uh, those issues where you can see like what someone searched 20 searches in a row. Like, how they're getting more and more <laughs> frustrated or, like, more and more perverse as they go through the searches. 720162. www.com John Cena. 720162. Celebrities. 720162. www.draw. 720162. www.wwwe.com. 720162. 720162. Funny jokes. 720162. Joke.com. 720162. Breedy or Wife.com. 720162. www.indiansex4u. 720162. Undress Stacy Kubler game. 720162. Family Guy Porn. 720162. John Cena with girls. There's, those are so funny. I used to love that. I used to love the one of the kid trying to, or the the guy's dad trying to figure out what YouTube was. He typed in YouTube. 
YouTube before there was like there the, be the a suggested text. Company called Universal Tube, and it was YouTube with just a U. And like their website would go <laughs> down and stuff because so many people tried to go on it and they had to change it. YouTube. YouTube. I, went, I typed it in Dude, and it ain't working. Uh, okay. There's so many good no, answers sorry, no. to how can I please a woman with a big ass in bed. The first one's from a guy whose picture makes him look. Uh, he was born in 61, so he's like about 60. And it says drinker of beers, over 5,875 different beers is still expert. counting. I'll let you in on a secret. Pleasing women, regardless of ass size, is rather easy. Ask her what she wants and do that. It's really no more difficult than that. True and then brother. there's a guy called Eric Everhard, who's an author, men's coach, and professional porn star. As a professional well, porn star, now assume, a man's I coach, I can tell hard. you, a men's coach. <laughs> Pleasing a woman always comes down to paying attention to the cues oh. of the woman, calibrating and calling an audible based on the feedback you receive from her body, <laughs> skill set, and techniques. And then it says in italics, all right, let's all look the size the of the ass doesn't matter. <laughs> the principles of getting women off <laughs> never changes. And then again in italics, only the application of these principles. Hope that helps. And then there's a guy that's just called Sid Sid uh, from India. And it says, with big dick, sucking her, licking her, and making her squirt like a fountain. <laughs> so he's a professional. <laughs> it's, True. <laughs> it's interesting to see what uh, people in the porn industry pivot to when they get about 30, 40 years old. Sometimes they get into streaming. Sometimes I just they go on Quora and they ter- they type in like big butt and they answer all the big butt questions and that's what their job is now. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, can, he's Ukrainian <laughs> now. He's a he's now I can he tell like why Canada. they call him Eric Everhart. Holy. Um. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> this is actually his real name. He's just Canadian. <laughs> oh, he's worked with. Oh, hey, but I'm Eric Everhart. I'm from Sudbury. <laughs> yeah, let's all pull up the picture of this guy's penis. Jamie, go ahead, and, go ahead and pull that up and pull on it and suck on it. <laughs> Jamie, can you go ahead and suck that off for me? I'm going to bop it on my wow. cock. He's won a lot of awards. Cool. Oh, those well, awards, really those awards are worth even less than Grammys. Yeah, they're like Gerald Awards. I don't know. I think big, best anal sex scene has, holds a lot more hey. weight than... Well, I mean, I guess if you do have that award, that does <laughs> that gets you points on Quora if you're... Answering specifically this question. It's like a, you can put it on your LinkedIn profile. It's a little badge. <laughs> so anytime yeah, you're looking, hey. looking for That's a job. That's how Mikey Miles got fired, by the way, because he he, he made sure oh, not yeah. to tell anybody where he worked or give any hints at all. And then on his public LinkedIn, he just a- mm-hmm. updated that he currently works at Outback. Why? Fucking idiot. Why, yeah, why else? Why tell people that? Um, <laughs> uh, speaking of sex freaks and losing your job... Uh, I have a weird update that I stumbled upon on um, Stephen Collins, the dad from Seventh Heaven. Eve Six's uncle. 14 was yeah, Eve Six's uncle. He was accused of many oh, lewd shit. acts with children and admitted to some of them on video, uh, and basically never worked again. Actually, his last job was doing a voiceover in uh, some Avengers shit in 2014. Anyway, yeah. Um, I mean, you know what he's doing now? Uh, Not in I jail. I was gonna say jail. Um, <laughs> No, he fuck in 2019. He moved to Iowa and married a super fan that's 25 years younger than him. Oh, fuck. Well, maybe he's just attracted and to people 25 had, years younger. Than him. Facebook post back to like 2010 of just being in love with him. Yeah, like, I can't wait to have a man like this one day. Holy Isn't that shit. fucked up? She was like a kid. Oh wow. God. Anyway, he waited yeah. way too long though. Now they now they breed dogs. They have like puppy mail out there. I looked. Like, into as a it pedophile, today. he waited until she was 25. Yeah. He's not even good at being a pedophile. This guy sucks. No, true. <laughs> yeah. He, 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 plus his nephew's really annoying on Twitter. He, <laughs> yeah, plus his son on 7th Heaven had a freaking uh, earring that he thought made him gay. And the whole time he was, you know, doing crazy shit. He, yeah, and they found a joint. They, they got mad, he got mad at his kid on the show for having a joint, and then he was fucking kids? Yep. That's worse. Uh, I, love, right. I love holding actors up to the, a standard of their most well-known character. It's one of my favorite bits. <laughs> <laughs> he should take a lesson from Leonardo DiCaprio. Folks, have you seen how old or young his girlfriend is? <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh, he has a new one that's yeah, young nineteen. Again. I would guess twenty three. Nineteen. No, yeah. Oh my god! An Israeli See, model. He wants. He wants to grow old with this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a few more years. <laughs> There's going to be a lot yeah. of weird sex stuff about him coming out at some point. 
I don't know if no, there even nice. is. I he's think pretty he's just... forward about it. He's like, I have sex with nineteen year olds, guys. That everybody's yeah. like, okay. He's like, I'm a, I'm technically allowed to do this. That's why I'm that's not why breaking any laws here. Leo, honestly, <laughs> Leo just Leo's just, like, hey everybody, so I'm not close. like Prince Andrew. Then this girl's nineteen. I'm dating her because uh, I like young mm. girls, as you know, but not that young. So all right, mm-hmm. see you guys later. See you next time. Everybody's like, okay. Plus, I would guess uh, NDAs. Mm. You're right. NDAs and payoffs. He's, no, he does not care that's... about basketball. <laughs> NBA is playoffs. Yeah, he's dude. not even he that tall. Even Lakers game. Did you see the big, uh, big viral tweet that like the age gap between Leo and his new girlfriend is the same as uh, Pedro Pascal and the his daughter in uh, or the not his the, daughter. the chick or the, like, his, the girl in Last of Us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Please no, I'm just trying bro. to remember from That's the good. game when I played it, like when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait until HBO no, makes show a, has two guys kissing. Wait until HBO makes a Fortnite show with some gay shit in it. I'm not watching it. Until... <laughs> I'm watching it. It's all right. No, but it's, it's, good. it's good. I'm just kidding. I'll probably watch it eventually. Uh, it's, it's, it's good enough to keep watching. It was the same thing as Yellowstone. We talked about it a couple months ago where they had two girls kissing, like in the background of a party scene or something in Yellowstone. <laughs> And all these old people were like, I'm not watching the this fuck? show anymore. This they were is disgusting. Up back there. Even though that's like, that's just mm-hmm. stuff you would see. Like yeah, if you're yeah. at college or something. Yeah. But it, it, th- I guess that's happening again with The Last of Us, where they're like, two guys had a kiss and they're like, no! They made the game no! work! <laughs> Marge, there's two guys like, kissing that, that in The Last of in Us! Do you want to even better about it? It was a very well-written episode that was well-received by almost everybody, except obviously like yeah. the Ian Miles Chong and uh, Ben Shapiro types. But the best part was... The, the like bear in the couple, the gay guys, like doing all the fucking was Nick Offerman. They're cool guy. Nick, yeah. Dude, Ron, Ron Swanson's gay. Dude, Ron How freaking dare you? Swanson. And he no, was. Do you want to hear the best part about dude, that, though? I, I, was, I was watching this interview with him uh, yesterday about him uh, about getting this the script. And he's like, I didn't have time to read it. So my wife read it for me. And she called me. I was working something else. And she goes, You're going to Calgary, bud. That's what she told me. Like, like, you're doing this every He's like, Okay. They don't even know what his original name was. It was Suck Offerman. Yep, <laughs> yep. Suck Offerman. It's, it was a... Uh, Suck Offerman. It was, it was yeah, Swedish. It was related was a, to Devin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Devin Don't Offerman. Right. <laughs> De- Devin Cocksuck Offerman. Yeah, I love those guys. They love, like, burly lumberjacks and, and shit like that. I just, yeah, I just, I just like want, the... like, masculine, rugged masculinity. It's not gay. There's nothing gay about it my appreciation for this. Episode. I'm going to borrow a bunch of bears. These guys are cool. It's tough. Like, <laughs> he ends up in the bathroom just fucking puking on himself. So good. Yeah, I love going to the bear bar because there aren't any like yeah, just, no yeah, chicks no ruining shit. There's no twinks here. No chicks putting on like a chick flick or just something. Big strong oh, guys, guys, like real quick. The fucking... <laughs> Bro, speaking of Leo DiCaprio again real quick, I just remembered another tweet I saw today that said... Twink death is real. And it shows Leo in like oh, basketball that. diaries and like now. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> it's like 13 years old, but like 70. All right, man. He's not that old, but it's so it's funny. Like, just let the guy get old. He's like, all these, he's like way past it. It was a joke, obviously. What's, the whole thread, though, was full of these gay guys being like, this is going to be me yeah. in like a year. It's so funny. Like, calm yeah. down. What's the maximum age for a twink? Oh, so good. Uh, 45. Oh, that's a good question. No. Gonna uh, ask how old is Randy Rainbow? <laughs> I think you eventually uh, go into otter mode at a certain age, just by default. Or if you get stronger w- while you're becoming mm-hmm. out of your twink phase, you become a twunk for a while. Your twinkish hunk. Wait, what's an otter? otter that's right. I don't know what an otter is. Uh, a little aquatic mammal. Mm-hmm. Swimming whole hands while it sleeps. Thank you. Um, yep. I think it's like sort of like a bear. It's more athletic twink. Maybe getting it wrong though. Maybe old. I don't know, man. None of us are gay. How are we talking about this? <laughs> yeah, we gotta like we gotta. There's like us trying to talk about how to play fucking Magic this the is, Gathering. Uh, this <laughs> yeah, can yeah, we call I was gonna say this is our seeking derangements part of the episode. Oh, I, wish I mean, I've, I've asked Cora, and uh, there's nothing really with yeah. the exact question. And this is like, at what age do gay men stop liking twinks? Bro, get off Quora. They don't know. It's go to Quira. You're on the wrong one. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried deleting a Quora account? By the way, no, <laughs> no. It's it's. I've never it's tried deleting one. one. Well, never, for some for some questions, you have to like log in with a fucking account yeah. in order to see what it was. And okay. so I, I did it on like my mm. burner Gmail, and then every fucking morning they'd send me a Quora update with like other questions I might be interested. Yeah, in. Yeah, I love it. It's my it favorite. Give me thing a push notification. Morning. So, oh yeah, I feel like I've seen that. So, like I, 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 I went email bombardment. All I, I went and fucking tried to delete it, and it lets you delete it after like jumping through a few hoop, hoops. But then it's like, 
Cubes. If you Cubes. if you uh, if you log in again within the next thirty days, we're gonna reinstate your account. And when I clicked that fucking link about uh, having sex with a small <sighs> penis and a big ass. It logged, logged me in. back in automatically, and it fucking canceled my deleting yeah. accounts. I'm uh, going no, to do Sorry, it I love that because such a piece of shit. Just, every just every add a morning, on your email every morning, I'll out. get a Quora and I'll like the email, and I'll just scroll through this. I got this one on January 28th, and it was <laughs> some guy said, "If Russia announced it was nuking Europe and America tomorrow at noon, would you be scared?" And then a guy, Craig Murray, former army captain, retired scientist, historian, author, not in the least. So here's a scene. Putin says to his generals, I'm not going to lose Ukraine. We are going to fire our nuclear missiles at the West right now. The generals nod and shoot him in the head. Then they order everybody out of <laughs> Ukraine and tell the world he is dead. Does anyone really think Russians are going to trade Ukraine for the complete and total annihilation of Russia? I was like, that's brilliant. You solved it, <laughs> I man. I mean, no. I, the most interesting part of it is him saying he would do it tomorrow at noon. I know, right? I'm going to because nuke you tomorrow at noon. That's kind of All the right. last thing you want to do with a preemptive strike is saying, uh, I'm going to do it 24 yeah. hours from now. No one shoot me first. No one, you can't. Yeah. You have to announce it and you have to do it. You, you have, have to wait, to wait until 24 I, hours. You, you can't <laughs> Bro, shoot me first. That would be such like a... That'd be such a Biden administration thing. We're going to warn them six hours ahead of time to let civilians leave the zone, the area. Like, literally. That is That would be the, the neo-lib uh, nuke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you just get, like, the highways when people were leaving Katrina. And you just nuke that. Did it to Kuwait, too? Yeah. <laughs> just don't even wait for everybody to get out. Yeah. Well, they gave them time. They dragged, sorry that you dragged your ass um, getting out. Tom, I got that exact same email, yeah. and I'm scrolling down, and one of the other ones is, if you smelled pot coming from someone's house, would you call the police? <laughs> I, they're so oh, good, the dude. Yeah. Quora is so call the funny. the fire department. It's more embarrassing to be like, there's something burning again, in here! And the fire department knocks their door, hey, we heard something was burning in uh, here. Again, that's a 16-year-old asking that. Because then the last one I got was... It's like, was Sauron afraid of Smeagol? What happens in prison showers? <laughs> I was fired on Wednesday, and they want me to work on Saturday. Is that fair? <laughs> it's like, they, these are all 16-year-olds asking questions, <laughs> and then, like, 55-year-old retired, like, police officers all go, I know the answer to this one. I can do this. What happens oh, in man. prison showers? <laughs> like, a guy asking that before he's due to report to prison. <laughs> I'm going to start baiting cops and being like, um... What if there was a mass shooter uh, uh, that was going into a school and then he was shot by a sniper that was actually a pedophile and he had to shoot him from far away because he was barred from being that close to the school, but he did kill him. Do you think he should be removed from the sex offenders registry? They'd be like, oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Fuck! That's so good! They would retire from Quora. I need to close my account. How do I do this? Damn, Damn this is really this hard. hard. Damn! This is way too hard. <laughs> And the guy was black, but it was a Republican. <laughs> a black Republican pedophile takes out a mass shooter from a distance of 100 meters. Uh, does not violate. Oh, he steps over the line when he takes a shot, violating his probation. Do you send him to prison? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's like the lever tricks for even dumber people. Or the, the, the train, the train car, the, the, the trolley, the trolley problem with even dumber people. <laughs> The black Republican pedophile sniper problem. Hey, I got a, I got a, I got a hypothetical for you. Just going to work on Monday. So there's this black Republican pedophile. All right, he's not allowed near schools. However, he's, he's a, a very good rifle. shot. He was, he was in, uh, he was in the Gulf War. He, the fox yeah, would not eat the crack. beans. But you know what? He's a pedophile, but he wants to protect those children. So it's kind of like, it's not a bad. <laughs> making these. Making these blue eyes matter, guys. Be like, oh my well, that, god! Now that's a now Fuck. that's getting me thinking. <laughs> that should be the essay question for the cop test. <laughs> and the shoot, the shooter. They give them the four also... crayons that you give them at a you give kids at a restaurant, and they have to write it. <laughs> the shooter he kills is a veteran as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shooter is a, a white veteran. White, but the shooter is uh, wait a white veteran is gay? also like buff. No, no, no the. the the, the master that gets killed is a straight white veteran with blue eyes, and he's bald like Johnny Sins. He's super ripped. He's, like, hot. The shooter is a detransitioner. <laughs> How many variables can we add? <laughs> no, that would have to be... I don't know. I don't know what they'd prefer. I don't know. Now I'm going to break my own brain with this hypothetical. And we got to keep it the simple. The shooter is Ollie London. <laughs> okay. The Republican sniper. I support Ollie London. 
Um, hey, I'm a Repub- Republican pedophile sniper. No, I don't kill them. I am one. No, you can't be mad at me. Here's what happened. <laughs> the sequel to American Sniper, Republican Sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Without a dilemma. So I think it's good I mean, that he killed the shooter, the but I think Sorry, he should go to jail for breaking his probation. Okay. Yeah. Well, it really makes you think. What if he gets killed in prison for being a pedophile? Well, then. Well, all's well that ends well. Play stupid games, <laughs> yeah. win stupid prizes. Fuck prizes. around, find <laughs> out. <laughs> Asking a question on Korra. Uh, what happens to pedophiles in prison? <laughs> nothing. Do they like nothing them? bad? Right. I'm due to report next week, so. <laughs> What what are the thoughts on those guys? I'm just thinking, are there do they is there like a special group where they hang out or is there like a club? Or I'm just <laughs> book club. I, I want to know who, like who should I make friends with on day one? <laughs> That's funny. Day one, you go up to the biggest guy in there and ask to see pictures of his kid. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's a certain dominance. They show me you're a fucking weirdo not to be messed with. <laughs> <laughs> on, on your first day in prison, you walk up to the, the biggest guy and make sure that they could tell that you shit your pants and didn't wipe earlier. <laughs> yeah. You want to smell as bad as possible yeah. to deter people. You want to smell like dog shows so and no one sits by you, no one fucks with you, no one wants to try to even rob you because you're like, his money stinks. Don't even, <laughs> Everything don't even go near him. I, I took a snack from it. It smelled worse than poop. <laughs> I, I, I stole snacks from him and it smelled like poop in the bag. <laughs> That was my like middle school theory for if you go to prison and you don't want any of that stuff to happen to you. Is you just constantly shit your pants. Well, okay, you could mm-hmm. do that, but then you end up in ISO. So I mean, I guess you yeah. you know win win. Henning, didn't that fucking fire festival guy say he spent like most of his time in solitary? Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> oh yeah, because he like came back out <laughs> yeah. of the woodworks this week, didn't One he? One thing that I thought was funny that I imagined was there's all these guys that were in there for different like crypto shit that also got scammed while they were at fire festival. Like, we're gonna beat your ass, <laughs> man. <laughs> He's like, I gotta, you gotta protect me. There's a bunch of crypto guys I scammed four years ago that just came in. They're gonna whoop my ass. Sam Bankman Fried put out a hit on me. <laughs> he just sees Sam Bankman Fried's fucking like fro, like the silhouette Popping coming through. in, like pajama pants. <laughs> well, well, well. So they didn't make stupid. me cut my hair because no one would recognize me. <laughs> so stupid. They cut yeah, I've been to prison. Like, I know what it's like in there. They cut his hair and his skull is just that shape. He's like crusty. <laughs> oh. That's a buzz cut for him. <laughs> Part of his head, like Lisa Simpson. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a hat. It's so cool. Oh, man. Shout out Sam Brinkman yeah. Free. Shout out the Fire Festival guy that is also he has a new festival coming called Pirate, and it's called PYRT, oh, which is kind of dope. Cool. Oh, I nice. A lot of people go yeah. to that and they get Billy stranded McFarland. Too. Yeah, Billy is he's, he's Pirate he's, Billy right now, I think, on Twitter, right? Pretty cool. So Is anyone scheduled to play at this? Fun uh, too. I don't know if anyone's actually confirmed yet. And like, who the no fuck would going say, to say yes. yes? Cape Cod Pirate Festival. I don't think that's what it is. Little we're gonna Pump's we're gonna, gonna, gonna see there. Derek there. Little pimp. Little pimp. Little pimp. So good. Excited for the detours of the Pirate Festival. Does he do that? No, but he will. And we're gonna oh. fly him. It seems like something he I, would exactly. do. He would do. It would be like. Maybe a two oh, or three guys, hour we're going drive, but to the Pyre Festival. Oh, I hope they have beers there. Oh, wow, they got beer. <laughs> just uh, Derek, yeah, rum and Derek showing pictures of like a tiny little beer that they offered him, just like the Fire Fest sandwiches. <laughs> oh God, that would be him, man. That would be fucking Derek. Oh wow, check out this food I got. It's not so, so guys. Even though the festival got kind of messed up, we got to see some pigs swimming in the water. We got to see some cool weather, and oh, it wasn't that bad of a trip. He's got like his melted cheese on bread while he's eating. He needs to mm. accidentally stumble into a disaster again, like when he was on that oh, cruise and week one of COVID. That was so, oh, that yeah. was so funny. Zero. Bro, Derek was on the fucking Evergreen ship when it was stuck in the Suez Canal. He's fucking. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah. He was like, we're in a, are we in a dry county? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink on this ship. Uh, easy. Oh, it what like religion is in Egypt? Do they like alcohol? How long would he I last too, without alcohol? I leaned too far to Derek right there. He turned into Quagmire. I went from talking like this, but oh, okay, this is how it is. <laughs> oh, wow, they got beer here. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, oh sorry, God. guys. I threw my quagmire voice. <laughs> I love Derek. We all love Derek. Derek. I, I've been letting mm-hmm. Derek's shit build up, so I haven't watched him in a while. Mm-hmm. Mars, they're Derek. only serving cheese much. sandwiches at Firefest. <laughs> Mars. Ellie McFarland's going to get away with everything. <laughs> we have to warn everyone else, Marge. <laughs> ja Roof tricked us. Marsh, they invited the wrong Snoop Dogg to the NFT party. 
Oh God! It'd be that so was funny cool when that was happening. Always... When there was a fake Snoop Dogg and also a real Snoop Dogg, and they would go to like the same shit. Like one week, <laughs> real Snoop Dogg would be there, and then the next week, it would be an impersonator because he was he was busy. That's like how uh, <laughs> fake little Dirk has a really thick accent, and he's just like, "I don't want any trouble." <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy in Are Miami you... that's pretending to be someone? Uh, lots of people. Crypto yeah. guys usually. Uh, the doctor, that pussy doctor, <laughs> Doctor Love. No, not the love uh, doctor. Yeah, it's yeah, like a celebrity impersonator. Doctor. Um, I feel like we talked about it. I can't. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, he's on the tip of your tongue. You should know it then. You were that's right. Him there. That's right. Nasty. I yeah. forget though. What happens in Miami Wolver- stays in Miami. That's right. Famously, like Dexter. Remember? Remember? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well. 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 On that Mr. note, if you have check out Dexter. Ask Quora. Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, mm-hmm. check out Dexter on Showtime, it. Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Take care. Check out Quora.com. Don't watch it. It was so bad. I watched it. Check it out Quora.com. So don't, don't actually watch it. Don't actually watch it. Go to patreon.com slash shopofym for but bonus episodes t- and our YouTube channel and all that crap. Yeah. Go to hell. And leave mm-hmm. a good review, please. Yeah, that's right. Five stars. Please. Five outlaw stars. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Your radio is set on cruise control. Get set for another 45 minutes of non-stop rock and roll. At least 10 great rock songs back-to-back. Guaranteed.